Hey, hey, what's the definition of a good tax accountant? I don't know, I would look it up. Someone who has a loophole named after him. <laughs> uh, I need an income tax summary report ASAP. I need to use those confounded debits and credits. Also, I'll need a P&L, a balance sheet, and a cash flow statement for my meeting with the bankers this afternoon. Throw in a few graphs, it'll make us look good. Yes, Mr. Castle. Welcome to Chapter 7. Chapter 7 is all about reports and graphs. Now, I know in our previous videos, we've gone over some reports for employees and vendors and customers. Um, so this is going to focus on some of the actual reports you can see. We're going to start by looking at some company and financial reports. And we're going to go down and just pick out one. It, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go profit and loss standard. Now we need to choose the dates to view the report. I'm going to go this fiscal quarter. Uh, and Go ahead on the, and click on the display this report icon. As you can see, this is the P&L statement for our quarter. And if you want to export it, you can export it, you can print it. You can also memorize these reports. So go ahead and click on memorize. And I'm going to name it profit and loss. And you can also choose a section that it can follow in. I'm not going to do that, but go ahead and click OK, and it's been memorized, which is a nice feature to have because a profit and loss statement is something that you'll see a lot. There is so much to do in the report center, I can't really sit here and talk about it the whole time because it'll bore you guys to death. But if you're bored, just you know, go ahead and look around. Everything is very helpful, and that's the report center. Click Company in the toolbar and choose Make General Journal Entries. Select your account. In this case, we're going to be debiting depreciation expense for 3000 and crediting accumulated depreciation for 3000 When you've completed the journal entry, click Save and Close. To add graphs to reports, go up to the Report Center Choose Company and Financial section if it's not already selected. Scroll down to the Income and Expense graph. Change the date to this fiscal quarter and click on Display Report. This graph displays the amount of expenses by the source of the expense as a percentage of the total. Notice to the right is the key to the graph. You can also switch to Income by clicking on the Income at the bottom of the screen. Graphs are helpful in visualizing the entire picture, rather than individual amounts. This concludes the end of Chapter 7. Stay tuned for Chapter 8. Oh man, this is tough. Man, I can't remember. Financial accounting, freshman year. We print out a financial statement analysis and reveal additional information. Great. I'm sure if I do that, I can give Mr. Castle more information. Raise. Good. Well, this vertical analysis is going to give me a $10,000 raise. Now I can do a customized balance sheet. That way it will show each account, show the percentage of the total assets. That's another $10,000 raise in my dreams. Let's get to it. Good. Look, last year we ran into a problem. The bank told us we had money. QuickBooks told us we were broke. We had to hire a new accountant to figure out where the money was in QuickBooks. So I'd like you to handle that for me. No problem, Mr. Castle.